going to discuss uh, problem a from contest uh, number 795 of court forces so uh, what the problem a says is we have been given an array and we have to remove the minimum number of elements such that uh, sum of every two consecutive elements is even so for example in this test case the first test case we can remove three and then sum of all consecutive elements would be uh, even and for the next test case we don't need to remove everything so the answer is zero so let's discuss how we'll approach this so just in case there is an odd number in an array so let's say odd so uh, to make sure that uh, the sum of uh, this number which every consecutive number should be even we have to make sure that this and this also have to be odd now similarly for this element we have to make sure that this has to be odd and so on so uh, what we observe is either the whole array has to be odd or whole array has to be even because if the odd contains both odd and even elements then there will be at least one junction where odd and even are consecutive and for that one uh, their sum would be odd which is uh, what we don't want so the answer to this question is uh, suppose in an array we have uh, o odd elements and e even elements so we'll delete we want to delete the minimum number of elements so we'll uh, uh, delete min of uh, o uh, o comma e and uh, that is the answer for this one so the next question is shoe shuffling so in this question we are given that there are n students who want to shuffle their shoes they want to shuffle their shoes in such a way that no one gets their shoe back and there is also one more condition that a student can only wear a shoe which is greater than or equal to uh, the student's size so their sizes are given in an array as an input so let's see how we could, we could uh, approach this problem so suppose we had uh, four students whose uh, shoes are uh, let's say 1 2 3 and 4 so 2 can give their shoe to 1 3 can give their shoe to 2 4 can give to 3 but now where will uh, the fourth one get the shoe from and same problem with the first one uh, who will wear one one size shoe so uh, how do we eliminate this problem there's one way we can do this thing 1 2 3 4 4 so in that case four's shoe uh, will be sh given to some other guy who has the same number and his shoe will be given to him so because it was given that a student can wear a size greater than or equal to as well f of their own number and also they shouldn't be using their own shoe so this is one possible way but the problem with this is now this part is solved but one two three remains and the same problem occurs with three watch uh, what occurred with four here so the only way to solve it uh, like solve this problem is uh, by ensuring that for every shoe number there are uh, more than one students so suppose i say i have uh, one one two 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 three 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 four four so if i if i have something like that what can i do is i can give his shoe to him their shoe to him and uh, for this i can just go this way for three i can go this way so you get the point we uh, we the only condition to have uh, shuffling be possible with the given condition is that uh, every element in the array should have frequency greater than uh, one and once we have that uh, condition fulfilled now how to get the permutations we can get permutations simply by in this cycle order so we can shift every uh, uh, we can shift every number by one so it's like uh, this will be two so we can generate one output for this this is two one and after that uh, suppose say three four five and six seven eight nine and ten eleven so this would be a valid answer for this kind of an array so i hope you understood the solution so the next question is called sum of substrings so in this question we will be given a binary string suppose say 1011 and for every uh, consecutive two elements we will have to pick out a decimal number so this is uh, 1010 uh, then 011 
and then 1 1 11 and then sum all of this and uh, summing all of this will give us a number we need to minimize this number now what operations are we allowed for this so for this what we can do is uh, we can swap any two elements but the maximum number of swaps that we can do is given by k which will be given as a part of input uh, so let's see how we can approach this problem so first of all uh, let's understand what the function f is uh, the number uh, function f is generating so uh, it is taking this one this one then this one and so on so as you can see every number suppose say this digit it it is getting used at tens place one time and ones place one time so for every one we'll get uh, 11 added to the answer right uh, to the function f except the first and the last one so the first one is only getting used in one number and there it is being used at tens place so 10 and the last one is going to be only used at the ones place of this last combination so this is going to contribute one and every uh, one which lies in middle of the area they are going to contribute 11 so uh, what we can say is uh, let's say we want to write the formula for it so uh, what we can say is 10 times uh, just a minute 10 times whatever this first digit was 0 or 1 plus 11 times how many ones have occurred in the middle of the array so all this uh, so just in this case if we check we have four ones so four and we have zero at the first place and for the last place one into and the digit is zero here so for this particular example the answer of f would be 44 now how do we minimize it so to minimize that what we would want is in the middle of the array we would want minimum number of ones and where do we want to shift the ones we want to shift it uh, firstly at the last place because in that case it will not be counted as 11 it will be counted as one uh, or if that is uh, done then we can shift it to the very first place as well because there it will be counted as 10 instead of 11 so what we can do is uh, suppose uh, taking the same number let's go back to the same number uh, so what we would want is this zero should be swapped with any of the ones which is uh, to the left of the array and since we have a constraint on the number of operations that we can make we would want to swap it with the nearest one so the nearest one to this side is this now how do we swap it so we are only allowed to swap adjacent elements so we swap this with this then uh, this with this this with this and by that way we can reach uh, uh, the rightmost uh, of the array so that would take some x number of operations and similarly for this side we can check for the first one that we encounter and then we can try how many swaps are required to get this uh, leftmost one to the first position so suppose x is the difference between their index so between the rightmost one and the last digit so we can check if x is less than equal to k then this up uh, this operation we can perform and we'll swap this uh, to the last place and if there are more k like there are more operations left and this side suppose it was y number of operations required and y is uh, less than equal to the new updated k if that is true then we can also shift this to this side like the uh, leftmost one to the very first place so i hope you can write the logic for that so what we are trying to do is we are trying to minimize fs so for that we would want the ones to not be in the middle but rather at the ends so suppose at the ends we um, already have once then there is nothing to do so f will remain same the function f will return the same thing and if there are zeros we can check if there are zero so first we can check if there is a zero at the end place then we'll try uh, to put uh, the closest one to that place and then we can check if uh, there is a zero at the first place and then we can try the, to put the closest one at that place